Good morning at 6.56. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. Local health officials say they're concerned for hospital capacity as COVID cases rise. Doctors locally say they can meet the challenge of caring for patients, but ask that everyone take the necessary precautions, including masking and social distancing. Several school districts in Monroe County's yellow zone have begun testing students and staff for COVID. Under the regulations, they have to test 20% of people in each building each week. Yesterday, Webster schools tested 603 students and staff, all reported negative. Schools will use a 15-minute rapid test for those tests. Monroe County reporting another 315 positive cases of COVID Monday. There were no new deaths. The seven day positivity rate for testing stands at 4.67%. There are 184 people in the hospital with COVID in the Finger Lakes region right now, 33 in the ICU. The pharmaceutical company Moderna announcing its coronavirus vaccine currently in development appears to be about 95% effective in preventing the infection. Last week, Pfizer announced its vaccine was 90% effective. The next step for both companies is to receive emergency approval from the Food and Drug Administration to begin disseminating that vaccine. News 8 teaming up with action for a better community, Fidelis Care and the City of Rochester for our sixth annual Share the Warmth Coach Drive. Organizers say the need is greater now more than ever for donations because of the pandemic's impact in our community. To learn how you can donate a coat, log on to rochesterfirst.com. Well, today, Winter Weather Week continuing on News 8. A look at all the upcoming Weather Week segments, including today, Historic Storms with yours truly, Josh Nichols. Then Rochester Winter 2070, Thursday, Winter During a Pandemic. And we wrap up the week with the Winter Outlook special on Friday. All right, Josh, I know you've got the storm story. No storm to talk about this morning, but we certainly have the feel of winter bright and early. We sure do. The feel of winter, the look of winter, uh, certainly the look of November with that gray sky. And look at those temperatures never getting out of the 30s here for highs across the region. It'll be chilliest in the uh, higher terrain south of the thruway. And not only do we have that uh, gray sky that you see here uh, as we look out uh, at the skyline this morning from Pinnacle Hill, but we also have showers of rain and wet snow of the lake effect variety, the chilly northwest and west-northwest wind across the lakes generating some of that snow that you see falling primarily in the western southern tier. It'll basically be just a nuisance value type stuff mixed in with a few rain showers too closer to the Lake Ontario shoreline. Might see a little sugar coating of snow, especially on some hilltops by the end of the day. So uh, this is some classic November weather, a heavier winter coat, a good idea today. Good idea indeed, Josh. Thank you. That's it for us for now here on News 8 at sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe and have a great day.